What's up, people? So I've been flooding the world with MLB 14 to show videos. Some of them have commentary on them. Some of them don't. It's too many videos, but I wanted to show everybody's team like I pretty much do every year. And I also wanted to show all the different modes. So uh, I'll be doing some online stuff coming up. But right about now, I want to do play a lock. And I chose Bryce Harper. And I just want to prepare y'all and apologize in advance. This is how you are not supposed to play play a lock. This is a fly ball. Easy fly ball to right field. Bryce got it. Got it. But a little late getting the ball out of his hands. And didn't throw it to the cutoff man. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hit the left bumper and throw it to the cutoff man in that play. Now I'm up to the plate. I'm not going to apologize too much for the stuff that goes on at the plate. Even though it was not a good day. It was not a good day. But I'm not going to apologize too much about that. Jose Fernandez is on the mound. And, you know, he's nasty. You know, he's very nasty. He's very nasty. I mean, like, don't wash his hands nasty, right? So I had to, you know, kind of get myself together. That was a pitch I probably shouldn't have swung at. But it had some movement. It had some movement. But now all of a sudden I'm in an 0-2 cap. And that's not good against Jose Fernandez. That's not good against anybody. But especially not good against him. High fastball almost had me tripping. Almost had me tripping. But I checked my swing. I checked my swing. Check swings are better this year, I think, personally. So that's something, a little thing people might wonder about. But that's not good there. A little pop out to third base. All right. Now we're going back in the field. And this is where things get a little weird. Okay. The ball goes down the line. I couldn't have caught that, right? I played off the wall good. And what do I do here? I don't hit the cutoff man. Threw it right over his head. You can't do that. Hit the cutoff man, Bryce. And I know these things, but we didn't do it. Up to the plate again. Fernandez still in the game. We down one to nothing. Okay. Now this is uh, I'm a you know I'm a break down what I'm gonna do from a series standpoint and all that. Uh, I'm not gonna do a mega series on PS3 because I am getting the PS4 version and I'm gonna save all my big ideas for that. But I'm going to do a mini season, a 29 game season with the Chicago Cubs. And during that season, I'm going to alternate between playing full counts, quick counts, and doing player locks. So we're going to do it all over the place. And that's what I'm going to do with the PS4 season too. But the PS4 season, I'm going to try again to play 162 games. You're a liar. You're a man in a blue shirt and you're lying. I did not go. He lies. He lies on people. Back in the field. So let me talk about this part first before I go back to talking about the series stuff. This is a fly ball. Now look here. Freeze it. You see that little arrow? That means the ball's going that way, Bryce. So that means you overran it, Bryce. That's what that means. So we let the ball go all the way to the wall. Bryce throws it in. Now this time he does hit the cutoff, man. So he did one thing right. One thing right. And then Eric Karras talks about it. It is a factor, but boy, that's a ball he should have had. You gotta shield that sun with your glove, use glasses, flip downs, anything. But you got I can't be mad at him. I can't, because you know he's right. Flip down something. Now here's the fly ball again. Like Ah, makes the catch. But wait a minute. Throw the ball, Bryce! The man is running home. He didn't throw it. But see this is now I got a I got a good explanation for this. I hadn't turned on the throw meter yet. And when you don't have the throw meter on See, that the way you play this game is you have to kind of decide where you're throwing it before you catch it, and you hit the button to start the meter, and then, you know, you make sure you throw it, you know, in the right spot, basically, where the meter goes. Well, without the meter, it's kind of hard to gauge, at least for me. So I need the meter on. So moving forward, I ended up turning the meter on so that I wouldn't make a fool of myself as I, as I was doing here. But Bryce is back up to the plate. So I can tell you a little bit more about the, the series. And so I'm going to alternate. So like the first game, I'll play full count. Second game, two, uh, quick counts. Third game, I'll play player lock. And I'll cycle through all nine positions playing the player lock. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that for the mini series that I do with the Cubs. So 29 games. And then I'm going to do that for my full 162 in the PS4. Now, why am I trying 160, trying 162 this year and I did not get through it last year with my Breaking the Curse series, which is what I'm doing again? Because I believe that with being able to speed games up with quick counts, playing player lock, and also as a complete backup plan, wait a minute, freeze it. There's that arrow. 
You know what that means. That means it's behind you. Now, this is a little freaky, though, because you're looking at it, and you think the arrow is pointing in front of you, but your mind, you have to tell yourself it's reversed. It means it's behind you. Stop being stupid, Bryce. And right there, I was just trying to run off the field. I was just going to go to the dugout because I was trying to make the mistakes, and they told me no, that I could. I had to continue the game. I tried to run clean out off the field because it was embarrassing. So, yeah, that was that. Back up to the plate, though. So, why, you know, because of those three things, you know, the quick count was well, actually four things. What three things? Quick counts, play a lock, and because now you can carry your season over as a complete backup plan. So, say, for instance, something happens and it's really hard for me to get through this 162, which is really my goal, then we know we can carry the save over to MLB 15. So, I, I, I mean, I don't see any reason now why you wouldn't play. 162. I just don't see any reason why you wouldn't. So, I, I mean, unless you just, I do see a reason why you wouldn't. I shouldn't say I don't see a reason why. But that's motivation enough for me to try again. I just love the realistic stats, man. I, you know, baseball, I want to look at the whole season and just be like, yeah, you know, you know, it was this, it was that, and he had 40 home runs, and 40 home runs actually means what it's supposed to mean. So that was the deal. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, Bryce is struggling. Bryce, and, and it's my fault, Bryce. My bad, dog. My bad. But we lost, as if you wouldn't have known that. Six to three, and Bryce sucked the whole game. But that's how you don't play player lock on MLB 14 The Show. This is the PS3 version. Peace.